Welcome back, Whitronics followers. Whether you've been with us from the beginning or you're new here, we hope you set aside some time each week with us to listen in for three or four minutes to learn a little bit more about the upcoming locomotive video and voice recorder regulation that's set to hit the Canadian railroads in September of 2022. Last week, we briefly discussed the role of file sharing and chain of custody as part of sections 19 and 20 when it comes to incident or accident investigation. This week, we'll take a deeper dive into how this information is managed and monitored using the Witronics user activity page. Section 19 of the LVVR regulation requires that when accessing or downloading data, a record must include the following four key identifiers. It must identify the person who accessed or downloaded the data, the original date and timestamp from the data being recorded, the date and timestamp of said person accessing the data, and a unique identifier for the controlling locomotive from which the data was recorded. Monitoring this information is not only a requirement of the regulation, but it's also a way for railroad management to control and monitor the access of privileged information. However, while data is a powerful tool, it often gets overlooked as the process of accessing it can either be inconvenient or limited. Wytronics solves for this by deploying the web-based player where select users have access to the user activity report page, which provides everything you need to know and more on any given data set. Just a few of the columns per data set include the asset ID, which is the unique identifier for the locomotive, the activity date, username, first and last name of the user, department of the user, an activity message, such as the data accessed, downloaded, or physically saved to a local drive, and even an IP address for which this activity took place on. As we discussed last week, everything in the Whitronic system has digital signatures. There are no more physical downloads on your locomotive, and there should not be physical downloads from the back office to a flash drive. Our all-digital approach ensures that your railroad's chain of custody stays intact from the moment the data is recorded to the time it is deleted in six years. This provides countless additional benefits, including reducing the need for spare solid-state drives that are a significant cost compared to the LVVR systems. In addition, your railroad will no longer have to take on the cost of the management and storage of the SSDs. And finally, in accordance with Section 19, Subsection 3, your employees will receive an automatic, complete report every 30 days detailing the information outlined earlier regarding what data was downloaded and accessed monthly. The Itronics back office system truly covers it all. Your railroad's reputation is the cornerstone of your company. Let Witronics be your one-stop solution. That's it for now. Join us next week for more LVVR content and to continue to see why Whytronics is the solution for this regulation. And as always, be sure to submit any questions to sales at or to simply leave them in the comments section below.